Okay, we're going to review another lime and bullet mold here. This one here is a little unusual. This is the Lyman 457-130 uh, mold. And this, this is kind of unique. I, I read about it when I was looking up a lot of different things for reloading for cowboy action. And this is an old design bullet that Lyman reintroduced or something um, and made these in a limited edition. It's called a collar button. Bullet design, and what, the reason they call it that is the way it looks. It looks like an old-fashioned button that you would, you know, use on a men's shirt to uh, secure the collar. So that's why they call it the collar button. It's supposedly a what is it, 145 grain. This here with 120s dropping out of the mold at 147 grains. Um, and it's designed to make a little lightweight bullet for the 4570. I got a case there, and what you would do is you would you would seat this to where it would be, you know, just flush with that top groove, so it kind of looked like that. Um, you're not going to load that with black powder because that lightweight bullet, uh, I think. One place I found a load is you put like a few grains of unique, could be like 10 or less than 10 grains, I'm not quite sure. Um, I'll get into that more when uh, I start reload using this bullet. What's interesting about it is you could use this in a light load for the 4570. You can use it in the 45 Colt, and I think it also can be used in the repro of the Rogers and Spencer's black powder cap and ball revolver, which I have one. It's the right diameter where it can be used in that cap and ball gun. So, it's, uh, I'm not quite sure what the deal is on this particular bullet design. Uh, it's an old ideal uh, bullet design, and I don't know if it was made in limited, for a limited time or in limited numbers. But I got one, I got the mold, because it sounded interesting to me, and um, I wanted to experiment with it, so I picked it up, and I just started, I got out and I started casting, so I, it's been sitting on a shelf for a while, so I finally casted some bullets with it. And again, <coughs> Lyman quality, it's a steel mold, okay, standard Lyman quality mold, and again, they're in the 60 to $80 price range. Um, you know, once you get the oil off of it, get it out, and uh, clean it up, start casting after it comes up to temperature, you know, there's practically no breaking period. It started casting good bullets today, and I casted a bunch of them. Um, again, it's, uh, you get what you pay for. The, they cost a little more, but they make a good bullet. And this one here does, I want to check it with the calipers, it is coming out at 460, around there, right out the mold. So that's nice. That, that can be sized down, that's just right for 4570 groove diameter. Um, in the old black powder guns, the old Springfield trap doors. So, <clears throat> that's, that's pretty cool. It's a... Uh, neat bullet. Uh, it might have to be sized down a little to fire in the uh, replica 45 Colt uh, revolver, but you can size them. It's, uh, and then it's got a huge lube groove in there, so if you were going with black powder or something, you know, uh, you got a pretty healthy lube groove. But it's it's interesting. It's an interesting bullet. Uh, and like I said, I'm not quite sure if this is some sort of limited edition bullet mold or, or what what the deal is. I think you can still get them. But uh, yeah, you could use it for 4570, 45 Colt, and then the black powder revolver. I'm going to try it in all three. Um, it was just an interesting 
design, kind of had to get it to throw in there and see. And again, the Lyman molds, steel molds, uh, they produce a good bullet. They're good quality. And I uh, said in another video, I've never had trouble with a Lyman mold um, out of the box. So, so if, if you shoot those calibers, I will make videos as I go along and reload how to use this. Uh, it is kind of a unique and interesting design, and I'll see if we can find a useful purpose for it. But uh, something you're interested in, or you know, I strongly suggest to you know. Don't be afraid to buy a lime and mold. Okay, then, uh, like I said, as I reload, I'll make different videos uh, of me reloading it for those three different calibers. And so stay tuned. Okay.